beautiful soul. Welcome back to the Tarot Closet. Welcome if you're new to the channel. Thank you so very much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. My name is Christine. Welcome to another All Signs Tarot Reading. All Signs Love Tarot Reading. All Signs Love Reading. A love reading for the collective. And as is very often the case, pretty much always the case here at the Tarot Closet, all signs, excuse me, I have to fix my sweater. All signs, love messages reading, messages from your person, messages from their higher self. So we're seeing the Two of Cups and the Emperors here. Venus and Cancer energy. Yeah, look at that. Somebody coming in here with an offer. It's quite early, but we see in this Empress energy that somebody's coming here with the truth. An emotional availability that I feel like was not here. This is wanting to restart something. Twin flame energy for some of you, it is not for everybody for sure. Soulmate energy, yeah, and there is a decision they're making and you can see it, it's time. Divine timing, communication, growth. The thing about the Empress, well, first of all, divine feminine energy, the planet of love, Venus, Taurus energy, is she has access to all the elements, really to all, to all the zodiac signs. And of course, that's water, air, earth, and fire, the love, the clarity, the transactional energy, the information, the truth, emotional availability, the commitment, the physical relationship, the connection, and everything around that, all the practicalities, and of course the wand energy you see here being led by the heart. Of course, that cup is right in front of Source, the sun, which the Empress utilizes very much because this is all about new beginnings and abundance. There's a cup in there, which is within a heart, which is in front of the sun, Source, the Leo energy here within, within the Taurus energy, of course. That's the outcome. That's connected, of course, to, well, higher power, crown chakra, figuring things out, coming here to be honest about how they feel because there's love here. You can see it. What is going on in your reading? We've just barely begun. My voice just is kind of, I don't know. It's like somebody, somebody's kind of coming here almost wanting to talk but kind of tripping over their words okay very interesting is this an apology because look at that it's the ten of swords and we're also seeing the four of cups this is the moon and cancer energy somebody's coming in here to communicate communicate the truth the truth is that they love you we saw that what else are they coming in here with Welcome to your All Signs Tarot reading. And again, this is a collective reading. It's a love reading for the collective. This is a timeless reading. It's a faded connection. You are here when you're meant to be here. So welcome again. All the decks that I'm reading from today are linked below if you're interested. And of course, all the playlists. There's the Page of Cups and there's the Four of Cups again as well. Yeah, somebody's coming in here. All zodiac signs. Also, of course, the playlist connected to today's reading. And that is, I believe, listed under Love Tarot, Messages from Your Person. If you are on a Twin Flame journey, there are very long and very in-depth Twin Flame readings below. I'm always pointing at myself. <laughs> you can't see me. I'm kind of touching, going, hey, it's down here. It's down below here at the channel and a lot of other playlists as well. So feel free to check them out if you're inspired to do so. Remember, this is a general reading, so take what resonates for you and let the rest go. And I would really appreciate it if you took the time to like today's video and subscribe to the Tarot Closet if you have not. And thank you for being here today. The Emperor, Aries, and Mars energy in the Two of Pentacles. So yeah, this emperor, divine masculine energy. We've seen the empress, now we've seen the emperor. Okay, so this is clear. Your person has been holding back a lot of feelings. There might be a little bit of power struggle going on here. This emperor is used to getting their way. What's going on in this two of pentacles? Capricorn 
in Saturn energy. What is that other pentacle? What are they needing to work out here? Because, well, this is an action number, this eight, but this is also, of course, infinity. And that's needing to, well, work through this for renewals. Get some balance here. Is this in regard to work and love? Is it another love? What is that other pentacle? Is it around money? Family of origin? Commitment issues? Let's see, because we know that they've been holding back their feelings. Airs and Mari's ener energy, excuse me. And you can see way down here that emotional energy. It's there, but they've been hiding it. And again, the divine masculine energy of the emperor, the divine feminine energy of the empress. That is the balance being worked out. What else is going on? And that's also the two of you. King of Swords wanting to appear here at the bottom of the deck, Gemini and Mercury energy. This is all about communication. That is really what Gemini is about, communication, information, exchange, moving information. And of course, Mercury, the planet of the mind, the planet of communication, this King of Swords has been thinking for a long time what they want to say. And we already saw that, that in the Empress, that the truth is coming the Two of Cups, how they feel about you and in the Emperor, what they've been holding back. Okay. Thank you, Spirit Guides, Angels, and Ancestors. Please show us the cards. Aho. Of course. I knew that that, that wanted to be here. <laughs> Look what just flipped right underneath it. It is the Empress. We're also... There's the star energy, the knight of cups. Interesting, the nine of pentacles in reverse, where your person's energy is the strongest. Okay, so this is the, there's the star card as well. Look at that, right underneath the king of swords. The hope for this renewal. So what's going on in that other pentacle and the two of pentacles? Is it just commitment issues? Somebody holding back how they feel or what is that other pentacle? Because... They're holding on to it. They have something else that they're needing to work out. Some karma. Also balancing out the divine feminine and the divine masculine energies in order to come here and share how they feel. Partnership placement is where the Empress has landed. But this Nine of Pentacles, this is where your person's energy is the strongest. They're everywhere, but it's the strongest here. That pentacle we saw belonged here. That is why this is in reverse. It's kind of a, well, it's an indication of where things are. Some setbacks. There can be that there, it can be that there's some jealousy going on here. And of course, right here after the Empress is the Knight of Cups. Scorpio and Pluto energy. The Prince, Princess, Charming energy romantic proposals, what could that be? Could it be something really big? Of course, of course, but it can also be to talk again, to see each other. What does that mean for you? Because we saw them coming in here, that two of cups, there's still a strong emotional connection between you. There are some power struggles here. And the thing is, is the Empress, of course, coming back here, right in the partnership placement is a validation that they're kind of taking the first step. As they say in Ireland, you vote with your feet. They're voting with their horse feet here. It's quite an emotional horse, also wearing this floral wreath, which is about, which is reunion energy for me. And of course, they're balancing this cup. They're being led by spirit here. What is in that cup? Well, the truth. How they feel about you. We saw that in the King of Cups. Holding it back, connecting to the Emperor energy, some pride involved. What else? Because the King of Swords, it's really clear that they're coming in here to communicate and propose something. That other pentacle, what's going on with that? I want to show you the bottom of the deck, but before I talk about it, the star card, Aquarius energy, Uranus energy, of course, a major arcana. This is the renewal coming in. This is the clarity in the renewal. Look at all this emotional energy. They have their wings open. It's practically a flood. And we saw that in, that's right, we saw that in the Four of Wands coming in. That water fountain, you know, the reunion energy. So whether that's via just a message, 
here because oftentimes Mercury can be connected to reading and writing or this is even in person which we saw in the Four of Wands. There is a renewal coming here. The clarity, it's really clear. The star card, faded connection, catty corner here with the Empress, divine timing. You might have you might have one foot getting closer to out the door is what I wanted to say. It's Venus and Taurus energy. So you've been waiting for something for a while. What are you waiting for? Because you're sitting here on the pentacles, which of course is representing this connection, the relationship, the commitment. There are six there. Now this is Venus and Taurus energy. And sitting on those six is, is bringing in Venus, the planet of love. So all the time and the effort, sitting here on top of a nest, so everything that you've built together and waiting for something, waiting for that pentacle that we saw in the Two of Pentacles. Were you in the Ten of Pentacles or working toward it? Because it's the Nine of Pentacles in reverse, you know? So it's sort of like things stopped. And that's the Pentacle again. Controlling what you can, letting go of what you can't. You have been here patiently waiting. So you are still here. But this is a minor arcana energy. And I kind of feel like it's doing this, you know. One foot out the door. It's really clear what's happening here. Interesting. So the hangman coming here in the partnership placement, of course, right below the empress, it's in reverse. It's a little bit of selfish energy coming in here. And there are some power struggles. That's the emperor and the empress energy that we're feeling. Some indecisive energy. A time will tell energy, but I feel like you've been waiting for a while. So look what is catty corner here with, I want to say, yeah, the setbacks, what happened in this connection. It's the Two of Wands in reverse. And it's also connecting to that Seven of Pentacles we saw. This is Mars and Aries energy, which interestingly enough is around that Emperor energy as well. And this is you waiting here, here in that Seven of Pentacles. So that might be why I'm feeling that one foot out the door, because this is waiting for them to communicate. You're connected here emotionally. And we know that. We saw that in the Two of Cups, but you're not talking. The world is here. And of course, that brings in the world card. That's a completion energy, and it's reaching a goal, finishing some karmic lessons. It's a completion energy, waiting for them to, what's going on in that Two of Pentacles here? To get this moving again, back together again, because that Seven of Pentacles has been waiting for a long time for this completion energy. So adding that pentacle and going into the ton of pentacles, were you in there? Were you working toward the long-term connection? Was it on the table? Because you can see something happened here and they're coming in here with honesty, with an offer to communicate, taking the first step. You can see that, you know, the hangman in reverse. There, There is some selfish energy here. This is... Pisces energy, it's also Uranus energy. And yeah, it's it's connecting here with the Nine of Pentacles in reverse and, and what happened here. But we also see that they're coming in. And this completion energy, this is Mars and Aries energy. And Mars is the planet of action, drive, completion. It's in reverse. So it's sort of like travel issues, you know, just having trouble coming here. And it's also having trouble with some kind of completion. So is that commitment and that two of pentacles and that we saw and seeing here in the nine of pentacles, holding on to one of them. Are they juggling something else? Is it another commitment romantically? Family of origin, religious, cultural differences, location. Whatever the case is, it's the lack of moving forward and completion energy, and it's connecting to the Nine of Pentacles. So for some of you, you didn't quite get into that long-term energy yet, and some of you were there, and obviously something happened. Five of Wands were in reverse, right below that. 
I really like this. This is Saturn and Leo energy. And this is telling me that they want to work things out. They want to resolve this and restore harmony. This Knight of Wands is a little bit... Well, it's a really fast energy, the Knight of Wands. Leo energy, being led by the heart, just going for it. Of course, the Sun energy here connecting us also to Leo and the Source, God, Goddess, the Universe, the Divine, which we see here with the Messenger hanging out, kind of driving them. It's a pushing through their whatever karmic cycle they're in, whatever's going on in that Two of Pentacles that they need to work out, we see there is an energy of it being worked out. It's just slowed down. And I do feel that your energy is still here, but how close are you to having one foot out the door? Because we see that they want to resolve it here. This is a really fast energy. Pushing through these obstacles literally. What is that? Why? What's in that other pentacle? What are those obstacles? Is it internal commitment issues? Is it external? Other people, work, money, something in their head? Because they're trying to get through it here and they want to communicate and they want to be honest. And is that all they're bringing? Is it honesty here? Maybe. It feels like more and it feels like you've been waiting and you've you guys have been kind of doing this. Some of you may have already been really in a, a very deep commitment already. Maybe even including children. That's not going to be for everybody, but it is here. The King of Pentacles here now. Virgo World by Mercury Energy. Yeah, look, draped in this reunion energy here. Of course, sitting on the pentacle. Abundance. There's the crown. Of course, that's working it out. That's here. That's also here. And look what else is here. The star. The renewal, the hope, and the clarity. And the king of pentacles, very much like the king of swords here, has been thinking about this. There is that pentacle that's missing. That's the, that's the pentacle and the two of pentacles. So again, what is it? Is it another romantic connection, family of origin, work, money, fear of commitment? Because they're bringing it in here now. So this is a lot more than just the truth because it's also we're also seeing here that they want to restart something. And this is long-term energy here. It's uh, for, <laughs> pun intended, it's very clear. Yeah, look what else is here. There it is. So that's the thing about the Two of Wands in reverse because look, there is the world card within it in reverse here, of course. And it's a minor arcana energy. So we know that there's some issues here with that completion, but it's a day-to-day -day energy. It's, it's they're, they're working through it. You can see it very clearly working through it. And we see successfully. So this is that energy of completion here. The divine, divine timing, communication, growth, very deep soulmate energy here and working toward that goal and one of which is working through the two of pentacles what is around that karmic debts the karmic lessons what are they needing to figure out to get that pentacle pulled out of that two of pentacles and make that decision here with the king of pentacles and put it here in the nine of pentacles you see that it's coming it's a matter of time here obstacles gone Cycles worked out. Leo, Scorpio, Taurus, and Aquarius. They're fixed signs. They don't really love change. So can it be for some of you that it's even just around location? Yeah. There's a lot of variables, and it's really, you're going to know that. This is life-changing decisions, and I got to tell you, I got to tell you, Sometimes this can be some marriage energy coming through, and we saw that in the Two of Cups coming in. We're seeing it here with the Knight of Cups. Are they coming in here to propose? Maybe for some of you. Again, it's not for everybody because proposals aren't always just about marriage. You know, it can be talking again or seeing each other or just kind of taking that first step because I really feel the energy here the emperor and the empress energy here has been, 
yeah, there's there's just like an impasse, you know, that somebody needs to take the first step. And I can see that this is what they're doing. Yeah, look at this. Actually, this is going here. Okay. It's the seven of wands in reverse. So this is a kind of like putting down, putting down the, the, their defenses. This is Mars and Leo energy. You know, look, that seventh wand here is just burning hot. And that's just protecting. It's a protective energy. It's a wounded warrior energy. It's in reverse here. So that's putting down those defenses, getting things moving again. Six of swords, Mercury and Aquarius energy. So it is time. This is an, a necessary transition. And it really is time here with the world card energy, ace of pentacles. So there's the pentacle again. That's the pentacle, <laughs> the pentacle and the two of pentacles, one of which belongs to the two of you. It belongs here. Look, here's the nine of swords again back. Capricorn, Virgo, and Taurus energy. The commitment energy. The thought, you know, here. The action connecting to where their energy is the strongest as they work whatever it is they're needing to work out. There's a completion energy of that happening and also here. So whatever you're deciding to do, there's an energy here today of things getting resolved. What does that mean for you? Well, what decisions are you making? You have free will. Your person has free will. Everyone has free will. Energies, outcomes, they can, they will, and they do change. The future is not fixed. The trajectory of this connection is up to the two of you. But you can see that they're on the move. The Nine of Swords, I think this might be the third time we've seen it, Gemini and Mars energy. They're so up in their head here. And here's the other thing. This is also moving past something here in that Five of Swords. So was something said or not said? because it's moving past that now. The, um, the waters are quite tumultuous. It's Venus and Aquarius energy. Yeah, it's moving past that. And it's through communication here. The lovers in reverse, the chariot card, justice, two of swords. My gosh, you guys. Six of wands in reverse. Jupiter and Leo energy. Okay, so here's the thing. This is what they're trying to do. And this is, this is an energy still of trying to figure it out, trying to work it out. It can be that they're trying to send a message here. Look, the Two of Pentacles is back. I wasn't planning to, to, to go under anymore, but it wanted to, to be here because the Six of Wands wants to connect with with the King of Swords, and that's trying to communicate. So they're really wanting to communicate. They are having trouble. They're up in their head here. It really is time. And again, we're gonna talk about all these cards down here, but the Two of Pentacles, what the heck? This has been, it is really a key player in your reading today. It's a minor arcana energy, but I do kind of feel like it's spinning around. It's, you know, this somebody here is is trying to work something out. Ultimately, we can see that it's going to be, I want to say in your favor, it's going to be, there's a completion that's coming here. It's just a matter of when and what does that mean for you. The Emperor's coming in here with the truth and a lot more emotional availability than I feel like was here. And we saw that in the King of Cups. We see the connection between you and the love, the Two of Cups, the Knight of Cups, the World card, the King of Pentacles, the Star card. So they're wanting to come in here and start something up, but they just need to figure this out first. So what, what is that? What has put this Nine of Pentacles in reverse? What has been holding things back or what interrupted things? You know, is it an, another romantic connection? Is it interference by someone or something somebody's fear or commitment issues distance cultural religious differences just differences perhaps in your life or where you are in your life you know where what 
what you want versus what they want. They need to figure it out here and make this decision because once they do, and it's minor arcana energy, things will get moving. We see they're going to, and eventually there is going to be a decision made here, but they're, look, they're just farting around in the hermit energy. As my mom would say, it's too much time in here, excuse me. Virgo and Mercury energy. So this is where you go for clarity, personal truth, spiritual illumination, luck. Connecting with the star energy for just trying to, to make this decision here. So for some of you also with the Six of Swords, it can literally be physical relocation. It won't be for everyone, but it, it is definitely for somebody here. Because what is that? It's time, not just the communication, it's Mercury energy. But, you know, this minor arcana energy, so this, this show... The show can get on the road, I want to say. We know they're not going to stay in this hermit card energy forever. We see that in the star card. We see the communication here coming, in particular, in a really emotional way, connecting with that king of cups, the empress, the two of cups. But I think you might be here too, because that seven of pentacles and the two of wands in reverse is just like really waiting for them to figure this out. What is it to get, get it together with commitment, with location, with working out something they want to change in their life that they're just having trouble changing? We see it here. Look at this. The cycle here. They want to move forward here with you, but they need to work something out. And eventually they will. The question is, where are you at with that, you know? Has the seven, will the seven of pentacles flip and will you be out of here? I think you're still here too. There is an alignment in the hermit energies, but for different reasons. You're just not really sure because you've been waiting, I feel, for a while. You've put a lot of time, a lot of effort for some of you, a lot of years. I can't say that's for everybody, but there is a strong connection for some of you with really long-term energy. And that's also, of course, the soul connection. But even for some of you with children, again, not for everybody, but it is here. And that's the emperor and the empress energy. So the lover's card in reverse, this isn't surprising, and it's with the chariot in reverse because things haven't been moving. But I'll tell you what, Gemini energy, Venus energy, this is the separation. We know that. Breakup energy, no contact, no communication, and or in separation. It can be that there were some arguments around this connection. They have a lot of regret. They have regret for some choices that they made and they didn't make. And that's the other thing about the chariot in reverse. Is this is kind of like having trouble. It's, it was having trouble moving forward. And this is what I want to show you. Look, the Two of Swords is in reverse, so it's an indecisive energy. It's more of that energy of the hangman that we saw here. It's around this connection. Somebody kind of over, I don't know, overloaded, I want to say, can also be low. I watched the camera just go right before my eyes. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention to the time. But it can be around a compromise, a location, a lifestyle, other people, things. What is it? Again, it's a day-to-day -day energy, but you can see that it's, it is kind of like a day-to-day -day energy of struggle. But when things were here with the lover and the upright and the chariot card, interestingly enough, there was something that they weren't moving forward with. And that's, that's here in the Two of Pentacles. We see they have it now here. They're thinking about it. Ace of Pentacles. They're holding on to it. King of Pentacles connected with the Knight of Cups here. And coming here and putting that in the Nine of Pentacles and uprighting that. And putting that, putting this Empress and Emperor into the Ten of Pentacles. Either where you were or where you wanted to go. Or maybe just back on the table for the future. Really long-term energy, new cycle, long-term energy. So there was something here they weren't moving forward with. You know, because this Lover's card, when it was here, is oftentimes, you know a pretty big offer. So it can be that it was something around marriage or moving in or or just having it on the table together and they weren't moving forward and that's why it's here. And they have regret. There's a lot of regret out for some of the choices and I think it might be that. And also choices, I got to tell you that they're having trouble making here. Justice coming in, I really like this because 
Well, yeah, it's connecting us also with the Empress here. It's the truth. It's a solution around the truth. It's justice. It's Libra energy, of course, and it's Venus, the planet of love. It's an 11. It's a master number. It's new beginnings. And of course, that's also coming together and it's a two. It's the two of you and it's the balance. The balance of the divine feminine, divine masculine energies in order to come from a place of truth and clarity. Here in the star card, the Empress Justice in an emotionally available way. Also that King of Cups energy, Two of Cups energy. And working out whatever they need to work out here. This karmic cycle, karmic lessons, debt, what is it? Could even be somebody with some legal issues, money issues, something around a partnership. Whatever it is, there is a compromise involved and they need to work it out. And that is... Well, kind of how things are moving again. And where you're going from there is, where do you want to go? Where do you guys want to go? Because it's coming to that energy now that it's coming to, it's coming to the time to talk to, yeah, it's time for things to change. It's life changing. What does that mean for you? Is that reconciliation? Is that closure? It sure doesn't look like closure for me, but I see that you're both kind of here in the hermit energy. What is underneath here? Because it's wanting to show. Interesting. Yeah, it's the queen of wands in reverse. So it's kind of like a little bit of hot and cold energy and a little bit of kind of lack of confidence energy. So that's, this is a pretty big decision that's going on. It's a life-changing decision. Make or break conversation here at this King of Cups make or break for some of you in person seeing each other as we saw in the Four of Wands. There's love here. We saw that in the Two of Cups. You're still very connected, but it's it's not finished. It's not finished, but you can I can feel it and see it and hear it that it's it something needs to change. Some decisions need to get made. There is the completion energy here. It's it's strong. And we see in that two of wands minor arcana that it's been, I'm just getting your oracle for you, that it's been delayed. How long? I want to show you, so we're shuffled and ready to go. I want to show you what's at the bottom of the deck. And I'm not reading oracle in reverse. Not right now. I don't really know. I just haven't been feeling it. And look what is here. It's the commitment energy. Yeah, look, there's the nest. So that's the nest we saw in the Seven of Pentacles. There with the Six of the, six of the Pentacles, the Venus energy and the time spent, the love. Just on those pentacles with that Seventh Pentacle up, waiting on that pentacle. It's here. It's here in the Ace of Pentacles. It's here in the King of Pentacles. Are they coming in here with a commitment offer? It sure looks like it. And you're both here. Look, you're, you're sharing. It looks like blueberries. Reciprocal energy. And that's also bringing in, interestingly enough, as I talked about the Six of Pentacles within the Seven of Pentacles, that is bringing in the Six of Pentacles here, the Moon and Taurus energy. It's reciprocal energy. It's everybody balanced out and giving and 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 not being selfish as as things have been and not you know because whatever's going around in that other pentacle commitment connection relationship whether it's money work person whatever whatever that is it's it's been a really big part of why things are disconnected and what could possibly be worked out that could bring you back together my gosh communication yeah, this is the King of Swords. We see here also in the Six of Wands in reverse that they're trying to because this oftentimes is connected to communication. So it can be for some of you there are messages popping in or being deleted or you're just not seeing that, that this is kind of the behind the scenes energy going on. And look, it's that waiting energy. Here with the window open, even through the storm, with the bowl ready. 
look at a cutting board, which is odd, but not really, because you bring in the, the fruit and the abundance, and you come here and you prepare a meal together, maybe quite literally for some of you, especially in that Four of Wands energy where maybe there is a coming back together in person. It won't be for everybody, but it's also, you know, can be a message. It's it's the idea here of it coming in and putting it here and, and communicating together and preparing this meal and sitting down and communicating. Look, there's flowers here too. Yeah. In person for some of you, but just communication. Just taking bringing it in and, and then sitting here and, yeah, you know, kind of taking it apart. What do they call that when they take a meal and they, they like turn it inside out? You know, I don't know. I think you know what I mean. But yeah, that's taking it and communicating and breaking everything down and rebuilding and preparing and, and preparing something together. It's building the connection together through communication. It's it's communicating again and deciding where you're going from there. And that seven of pentacles energy is here because there has been a wait. And it's even coming through here through the storm. It's kind of knight of swords energy in some ways. Confident that it's coming here and it is. Look at this, king of swords, commitment, the empress, the star card. And there's a lot of regret here in this lover's card in reverse. And it's connecting to the Empress. So it's also around some dishonesty and some lack of emotional availability because it's also connected to justice here. So this grief card underneath. Yeah, and there's a sadness in waiting. How long has this separation, no contact, no communication and or in separation been going on? There are eight, eight crows here. And yeah, it's interesting because I don't feel, I do feel that there's been some power struggles. Nobody's really been moving. But look what's here. Uh, sort of like communicating everything that happened. And where do we go from here energy? Because it, it is, it's, it's got that death energy to it, the death card energy, you know, and it's changes and it's transformation and it's rebirth and it's endings and it's new beginnings. And there's this closeness here somehow, look, sharing this grief together and the past energy of what has happened and where are we going now. And what's going on with these crows, you know, in the background. It, it feels supportive, actually that energy. Somebody may be keeping an eye on things. It's sort of Page of Swords energy for me, curiosity. Yeah, I don't really have a lot to say about that, but here's what's really interesting. So the influence is here in this Two of Pentacles. What is it? And that's something that also devil energy, devil card energy connecting. It can be that that whole decision that somebody needs to make, your person, of what is that internal or external influence that we talked about. It can be that it's actually an overabundance of something. It won't be for everybody that it's that, but it is definitely here for some of you. But that's also just influence in general. So something is here that they're really needing to work out. We see that eventually... There is a completion energy coming here. It's just a matter of who's going where. This is just, I'm sorry, but I just have to show you this because it just is really a, it's like after you've come together, you know, and just really look connected here and figuring out where you're going from here. It really is, is this, is this reconciliation or closure? There's a lot of love here. This doesn't feel just like, oh, you know, maybe I'll just pop in and see what somebody from my past is doing. It's not that energy here. There's some long-term connections between you, and perhaps for some of you, that's just a feeling and the soul connection. But for a lot of you, there are some 
time spent here or just a lot of, it's just a particular kind of connection. It's one that I feel like has not been easy for anybody to just walk away from because there's just something still undeniably here. Regardless of that, everyone has free will in the direction that they're going. And this is what I feel like is going to be happening here. It's an energy of are we, are we moving on together or are we moving on apart? Interesting. Weatherproof. It's kind of like that. It's almost like the King of Cups in reverse and the Emperor in reverse energy. It's kind of like holding back of emotions. You know, not letting it get to them. Waterproof. I think I said weatherproof. Yeah, because that's connecting and my eyes are really itchy. So that's that's Archangel Gabriel. The judgment energy. Clarity. Making a decision. A wake-up energy here. Yeah, there's a lot of regret as they come in here with the Empress. Look at this. Flying up. Uh, just above all the conflicting energy with the cup here, which we also see here in the Knight of Cups. But this is that energy of what they've been holding back. The Riz card is here. Yeah. I mean, look at the, gosh, my eyes, you guys. Look at the waves here. You know, trying to, to get this clam. So it's sort of like they're risking coming in here to get it despite maybe being taken in by the undertow. So this is on both sides. And on one hand, the sharing of the emotional, the emotional vulnerability coming through and availability here, the communication, just really just putting it all out. I just feel like somebody's putting their heart out here, pouring their heart out here. My gosh. And also really both of you pouring your heart out, crying, I feel. My gosh. My eye is so itchy, but it's a, it's a mix of pouring it out and figuring out where to go, but also being afraid to be hurt, being afraid to share it because that's the emotional energy it could just take you under, but you know, the risk of what the payoff is pretty big here, but what does that mean for you? The payoff, it's up to you. What is that? Is it worth it? What is, what is it to the two of you? This is really, wow. Okay, so this is the last one that I'm planning to take in and it's not surprising, it's the rebirth energy. So that's the energy that's really strong here. It's really big changes now. It is a transformational energy and it really is a make or break, I feel, meeting for some of you, for, for literally, for some of you, it's just a really big communication here. King of Swords, communication, Commitment risks. There's a lot going on here. But this is the rebirth energy. So is this closure? Is this reconciliation? But I feel like your hearts really need this. Both of you. Again, it's more of that Scorpio energy, you know, the transformational energy. And I want to tell you too, this is also second chance energy. This is coming in in a higher vibe, I want to say, without the ego that's been here because that emperor and the and the empress two of you there has been some headbutting i feel like kind of who's going first energy this is putting that aside it's coming not coming from and staying in a place of shadow and ego but yeah coming out of that and making balancing out the divine feminine and the divine masculine energies which we all have and being able to come from a place of truth and clarity and a, and a calm, it's temperance energy, you know, Archangel Michael of, of solving things and restoring harmony, wherever you're going to go from there. It's just something I feel like your hearts, you, you kind of feel like you owe each other somehow. Beautiful souls, I want to bring in some channeled love messages, messages from their higher self. Closing my eyes, what falls out is yours, what comes out is yours. I feel like you got a lot. That looks like a lot to me. Please forgive me. 
communication, grief. Just wanting to look here. Yeah, the King of Pentacles was connecting with the Chariot in reverse in this past energy. Look, with the Two of Pentacles of not moving forward with that because of whatever's going on in there. Again, what is it? Is it something they're doing that they shouldn't be doing that's not for their highest good? Is it other people? Lack of compromise, distance. What is it? Commitment to energy. Which we see is changing. I want to be honest. Of course, that's justice. That's also the Empress. No one compares to you. Putting this here with the soulmate energy. Since your two of cups was shuffled back in. We have a deep soul connection. That's more. Everything reminds me of you. Do you still love me? Do you still love me? It's this King of Swords connecting with commitment. Also, look, the King of Swords is looking right here at the waterproof. You know, sort of looking away too. It's like the King of Cups in reverse energy. They know what they were holding back, what needs to change, decisions that need to be made. We were meant to be rebirth energy. I spy on you. That's the curiosity energy that came through. It's the Page of Swords. Are they watching social media? Can it be some of you are connected via friends or family? Yeah, we saw that in the Four of Wands. I'm so sorry I hurt you. It's more here. That's the Lover's card in reverse. My heart belongs to you. I'm trying to send you a message, okay? So yeah, that's the Six of Wands in reverse and the King of Swords. So for some of you, it's around a message. Do you miss me too? Conversation here, I miss you because I miss you. Do you miss me too? So we know that as before that you inspire a love in me I never knew. Is that it? Did I read them all? I did. I'm sorry I didn't warn you about the last one. I thought that I I thought that I hadn't read them all. Okay, I feel like I need to get another one for you because yeah. So this is your last channeled love message, message from their higher self. I'm sorry I wasn't there for you. Look, it wants to go right here between grief and influence. Was somebody doing something a little too much? Was there an external influence? What is it? It kept them from being there for you. And they're apologizing. Beautiful soul. Your reading was, yeah, it was, my heart just feels, I don't know, not heavy in a bad way, just... Like, it's really time to resolve this. Thank you for being here. I enjoyed your reading, and I hope you did too. And if you did, I would really appreciate it if you liked the video and subscribed to the Tarot Closet if you haven't. And it goes without saying, thank you for being here. It really means a lot to me. I'm sending you so much love and so much light and hoping for the best outcome for you. Take care of yourself, and I look forward to seeing you at another love reading. Bye.